Okay, how dare you want to learn this effect in Blender? All right. So here we are. We will be learning how to create this effect in Blender. So I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, let's go to Blender and let's start working on this effect. Thank you. Hello and welcome to another episode. This time we will be learning how to create the comic focus effect that you have seen in the thumbnail. Okay, so the way we will be doing it. Let me expand this. And I will open up the asset browser. And let me change from the current file to the generators and let me bring this in oh i cannot bring this in fine so right click and open blend file let this open so it's open already what i need to do is let me should I create this? If I open the asset browser. So this is the one. If I right click and say clear asset. Let's make this so that we can access from the asset browser. I'll select this. Right click and say. Let's click on mark as asset. Okay. So as you can see I don't have any preview. In order to get the preview, <clears throat> click this. When it's selected, we need to click this icon here. And then this is the preview window. We don't have any preview. Let's try to refresh. No preview, no problem. We can open a custom preview. So it comes with the package. So let's select this one. Okay. So we can close this. And we can save the file save the file and we can close this back here now if i click i can just select all of these and just delete click and drag and drop and yes so i can just put this out so now coming back to the topic in order to create that comic effect comic focus effect okay so let's open up our window let me expand this and change this from 3d viewport to geometry node editor okay let me press n to close this let's zoom in and let's see what is happening at the moment <clears throat> This is the particle flow and this is how it is let's come inside and let's go to the settings and as you can see i can increase the speed rotation all of that so if i reduce the speed okay fine so now as you can see these are all bunch of spheres so let's take a look in our node editor geometry node editor what is happening here okay this is the one we need to change so this is the sphere that it is using okay so what we can do is shift a and let's bring in the mesh primitive q okay so i'll just click and let's take this out so we don't want the sphere and bring this over here and then take this mesh connect this screen with this green dot okay so we can see our spheres but it's all bunch of spheres in a huge size 
as you can see 100 centimeter that's way too much so let's reduce it by one okay and let's reduce it further click and drag and let's say if I use 0 0.001 don't see anything okay let's use 0.1 okay so now we are getting there okay so if we take the x which is the x axis here the red one the red one that if we take and just increase increase the effect and now if i can bring in the camera let's create a camera and let's go to the camera view and press n on the keyboard and go to view and select camera to view okay now i can adjust the camera just like my perspective just zoom in and we are already you can see we are almost getting there okay select this and we can play with this yeah and now what we can do is give it a material all right the material that we need to give is if i come over here and at the moment it's using water material okay we need to remove this and I'll create a new material. Let's give it a name. The black. All right. And then we can change the color. All the way to black. Fine. Okay. And if we check the material preview. It's not black. It's still using the water material. Why? If I change this black to say something pink, okay, and you don't see any pink, this is not using this finish, okay, we need to change it, fine. So over here, what we need to do is we need to change the material from here so let's say click on search shift a search type set material and click it okay so now instead of this going to the output we can take the connection and connect it to the geometry geometry to the geometry and the you can disconnect it and then connect this one to the geometry and now this is using some standard gray oh we need to assign our finish black click and now this is finally black finish okay and now the cool part that we need to do is can select this and we can play with the settings here okay and let's bring in our image okay let's bring in the image i will go to the top view and let's create a plane and let's rotate the plane r x and then press 90 90 degrees and then rotate again around the z-axis type 90 and I can move this back in front of the camera press G and Z to bring this up fine so this one I will be giving the material so let's change this 
to the image sorry shader okay so we will give this a new shader click new and I will import the image click and drag and now if I connect this to the base color Ta-da! So if we go to the camera view and reduce the size Okay, let's check the render Okay, we need to adjust it and it's not transparent fine we need to adjust it and let's reduce the size somewhere here and let's adjust our camera maybe to the center and adjust this as well and we need to bring in the alpha okay so let's connect the alpha to the alpha still no transparency okay let's come over here to the blend mode and select alpha blend and now if i render now you can see i'm getting it i just need a white background okay so the way in order to get that effect okay so this is the background i just need to use a color and the color is full white okay for the background and now if i render and check ta-da so we can now play with the the focus line so let's come over here and then we can adjust it we can adjust the length of it we can come back to the geometry node and over here so we can increase this as you can see well, that's way too much and what we can do is give it variation from here and then you get the idea okay so if we render this as an animation that can be done cool ta -da! <laughs> and if you render the image yeah. but this is not the best way if you have still images so this is not good maybe we can have this much cut out so the best way to do this in the image editing program so let's do it this is inside this is good for if you're animating within the application okay so I can just move this on the side just a little bit and maybe push it back okay in the x-axis so we have some more and i can increase the density perhaps something like this and move this again in the x-axis yeah so you get the idea and now let me hide this or say do not render if I render okay let's take this to the image e editing program I will save the image okay scroll BG save as
Okay, now it's loaded. The first thing I need to do is go to add some contrast to this image. Okay, so this is the way I will be adding some contrast. Okay. Yeah. I will apply the same effect again. So as you can see, there are some artifacts. So if we do this, we will get black, completely black and white, more white. Okay, let's control E to merge down. And let me import or open, bring in our image. Okay. So I'm going to take this image in here, insert as a new layer. Fine. And then I will move this. And then scale it. Scale it. Okay, scale it more further. Okay. And now this is perfect. What we can do is, as you can see, what we need to do is get the transparency out of this image. So if I select, go to filter, colors, color to alpha. And let's pick the white. Color sample is white, so it has already taken white and given us the alpha. And now I can create an empty layer. And then let's put this layer here. And we will give this layer a white color. So control backspace. Okay, I hope this is perfect white. Full white. White. And then this is the comic effect. And then here, this I can bring it down. Okay, so this is how we can achieve it in the image editing program. I am using Krita. So in any photo editing application, you can easily achieve this. So this is another method and this is much better to do this in the photo editing program. I hope you liked it and give me your thoughts on this in the comments and uh, let me know how it how helpful it was and see you in the next episode thank you for watching ta-ta